I keep relying on that it's five minutes. And that's good. I don't know what it will be like. I think more and more, like, people may end up hating it. Like, as, as, even if it is good, you just can't control it. All you can focus on is making a good episode. Seven Days Later is a five minute show that we make in a seven day period, um, like the Earth. I don't think anybody's really done what we're doing before. That's pretty cool. Each week we create an episode of TV with our online audience. We do a bit of a story session. Little Billy's allergic to fire. And then we ask for music, character descriptions, and the characters in the episodes will be those character descriptions we got. So we think that sort of conversational attitude is working. We are relying on the audience to actually work with us to make this thing happen. So if they don't turn up, then Daly's in big trouble. I have no idea what I'm doing, which is fine. Make no bones about it, these guys are not going to be sleeping much in the next six weeks. It is an entirely collaborative affair. I think that's the most important thing to think about. We just keep asking for ideas. Eventually we have a script that we then keep adjusting and changing based on Twitter responses, Facebook responses, YouTube responses, everything responses. And what they actually suggest to us actually goes on air. Send us in a keyword and we'll kind of try and craft an episode around that. The one that we quite liked was Drama Queen by a guy called Sean Warhurst. This week's episode is about a, an improvisational group who get held up in a Chinese restaurant and they take it upon themselves to improvise their way out of that situation. The Triple J audience will be used for a crucial part of the show, so we put a call out to Triple J and we said, hey, what roles do you think these actors would play to get their way out of a hostage situation? A priest with Tourette's syndrome. Oh, a priest with Tourette's syndrome is a fantastic idea. Great suggestion. One character is a bad guy who's done it all before, so when wow. the baddies come in, it's like, everybody just shut up and blah. He's like, You've come into the wrong Chinese restaurant, pal. That was yeah, Mick yeah, from good, Newcastle good. suggested that. Thank you. you just walked into the wrong Chinese restaurant, bugs. I'm going to give you ten seconds. Put the guns down. <laughs> oh, fuck you! There's a direct line between their suggestions and what broadcasts. We take all the suggestions and we put them all into a script that makes sense. And then we take that to a rehearsal day with the cast. It was the first time we'd all been together, so it was cool to know that everyone got on. It's the meeting of two worlds, in a way, this, this idea we've got. You know, the kind of digital stars meets kind of the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how that kind of um, works out over the next six weeks. Yeah, you can just keep passing him notes. Not I've got a golden retriever named Fargus. Yeah. <laughs> and eventually, a minute before we start filming, we have a script based on our audience's involvement. 6.13, the day before the shoot. Actors are rehearsed. Feeling good? This has literally blown my mind. Just the amount of planning and capital that is going into this. For a five minute thing on ABC2, it's quite amazing actually. Especially coming from a YouTube background where I literally just stay in my room and shout at my laptop. The guest stars we want aren't particularly like famous people. We don't want famous people or celebrities. Well, I don't. I think the ABC might. But, uh, <laughs> We didn't have an, a guest for the first week and I found Colin Mockery. I really wanted him and I emailed his agent and he was really nice and then I emailed Colin and, um, and Colin came up to ABC to meet me and, and I had to sort of tell him what the show was about because he only had heard vaguely about it. I was going to tell you exactly <laughs> what, what the ship is. And I really ruined my pitch to him because I was so nervous. I think it's funny. I do, I, I, I do, I do think it's funny. I gotta say, he pitched this to me in the worst possible way. <laughs> he said, I don't know if you're gonna like this or if it's gonna be good, but it'd be so nice if you would do it. But there was something sort of charming about that and I did feel he was lying to me a bit because he, he did know what he was doing. <laughs> should I do the avatar thing? You should not be here. You should not be here. Well, yeah. Daly really hasn't slept for about three, three weeks. I haven't worked with Daly all that much. I think when he gets nervous, he just gets really nice. Just being nervous all the time. Daily. And action. As much as there is a shitload of work to do, we're adults playing. That's what we're doing. We're just adults having fun, and this is our fucking job. 
cat, go. It can be a little intimidating at times, but then I go to my special place, and that seems to work for me. You walked into the wrong Chinese restaurant, pal. Bang! We're ending vibes now? Are you extras in this or something? Yeah. Um, we're gonna be like they don't know this, but it's actually a snuff film. We're gonna be literally killing them live on screen with various weapons. So I was on Facebook. I heard about that this was going down, and then one thing led to another, and here we are. It was awesome. It was really hard not to laugh, but we held our composure. This is the biggest thing I've done so far. This whole week I've been staring at the ceiling, laying awake at night in excitement for sharing some screen time with the great Colin Mockery. I eat rock. Hard rock with my teeth. And then I squeeze boulders out my rectum. And we'll cut there. Cool, we'll take that up there. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, just got to get through the next uh, hour or so and then we might have a little nap before we start on it too. Yay! And cut there, that was great! That was <laughs> so good! That was great, great, we're done. Cheer up on Colin Mockery. <laughs> Thanks so yeah, much. Yeah, that was great, no, I'll show you. Uh, I don't know if I'm in next week, I don't know, I don't know what's happening, I don't know what's going on. Probably still be bald though. McGregor do sticks. Uh, <laughs> I hope he really liked it because I really want to work with him again. Um, I like to think we're friends now. He is following me on Twitter, which is, you know, I've got that going for me now. Thank you so much. Well, I good so luck. appreciate you doing this. Much success. I've been so embarrassed, so I am a massive fan. Oh, All you. through my life. You know, a big part of improv is saying yes. And. Uh, and I find, um, as I'm getting older, I'm trying to incorporate that into my life more. So saying yes to things uh, takes me into these directions that I may have, for some reason, uh, stopped myself from, from getting to. So because I said yes to this, I met a whole group of uh, lovely people, got involved with this project that I think is going to do very well. And uh, hopefully these people will remember me and use me to greater advantage in the future. It's all about me. Thank you.